Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark. In this video, we're going to show you a really cool LearnDash feature that allows you to create courses from a YouTube playlist. Now, you may not be aware of this feature, but it became available in LearnDash 4.1, so you need to make sure you have that version or later to be able to do this. And if you're a YouTube content creator, like we are, you'll probably have a playlist of your videos. And what you could do is go to that playlist and then copy the address of it. And we're going to show you how you can really quickly create a course from that. So what we'll do is head to Learn-LMS and then Courses. And at the top here, next to where you add new courses, we've got this new option here called Create from Video Playlist. I'm just going to choose that and then paste that playlist URL into there that we just copied. And it'll like detect that it's a YouTube playlist and what we can do is click on this list here. But just to point out, you can also create these from Vimeo and Wistia and um, YouTube as well. So we'll just click on this button and what it will do is take a little while to then work through those videos and create a course based on those. So what it says here is the course, Useful Tips for Learn Dash, and what it's done there is taken the name of my playlist automatically and made that the title of the course. And it says it has 27 lessons, and that's because that playlist has 27 videos within it. So what it's done is it's made a lesson for each of the videos in that playlist and added it to this course. We can choose how people will gain access to the course, and these are your standard course settings, so you can make it so that people have to buy it, offer it for free, and there's other options here. I'm just going to choose closed for now. And then you can choose how people can access the course. So whether they have to view the videos in a certain order, in which case you would leave this as linear form, or whether you leave them to be able to go into different videos at different times and not have to do them in a certain order, and in which case you would select free form. I'm going to choose free form here, which allows people to move through the course at their own pace and, and not have to watch them in a certain order. And then all we do is click create the course. So just before we dive in, we'll look at the structure of this. What it's done here is created this useful tips for learn dash course. If we head over to lessons, we'll see that every video has been created as a lesson in this learn dash course and added to that course. So let's have a look at how that looks. If I go to view, I can see I've got the course and you know, depending on your theme, this will display differently. But what I can see is that I've got a list, a list of lessons here and each one of them is a video which appears in my playlist and I can click into that and I can see the video from the playlist and uh, some information about it. And, this will pull in your YouTube or Vimeo uh, description here. Uh, but, so you might want to edit this and, and change it if you want to. In which case, what you would do is you head to edit lesson here. And this will just open in the editor and allow you to make changes to the content below it. When this loads. So we could just make changes to this as we need. Obviously you can still intersperse quizzes and things like that if you want to. So if you had made a course automatically from a playlist but wanted to add some quizzes to it, you could head to courses, edit it, go to the builder where you'd find a list of all of the content there. And if you have a quiz here, you could tick it, add it, and then move that to wherever you wanted within the course. Um, so I've added it there to one of the videos, but equally it could be added to a final quiz or somewhere else around the course. So it's a really neat feature is that, you know, just creating a course in, in a matter of seconds from a YouTube playlist. So we hope you find this useful. And if you did, please give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.